So finally, here we have Rising OS 6.0 first look based on Android 15. It's an open beta and it's available unofficially for some of the devices. I mean, if you are one of the developers, you can build it for your device. Although if it is available for your device, it's completely amazing. But it's not officially available yet while making this one because definitely it's a beta version. So we have some of the bugs here and there. But one of the things which I personally loved about Rising OS latest 6.0 is that it's one of the amazing Android 15 based custom rooms so far. Why so it brings you almost everything what you were looking forward to with Android 14 or with Android 15 right now. For example, this is a default launcher what we have right now. This default launcher is Autos launcher, it's not Pixel launcher. And the good thing is almost every feature is present as compared to Android 14. Of course, not every, but almost. I mean, most of the features are present in this case. Hidden and protected apps feature is also there. So which means you'll be able to use the protected apps. I mean to say you will be able to use the app lock feature and also you can hide the apps. This is the recent panel. Definitely some of the things are missing from here, but might be added with the upcoming updates. Also, these wallpapers which were present with the previous Rising OS versions are also present. And because it's Android 15, so we have the new wallpapers and style UI. So definitely new preview UI. And for example, even if you take a look at these kind of things, if you want to apply any one of these wallpapers, click on set wallpapers. This is the new UI which you have. Because it's based on Android 15, so definitely Android 15 features are already present in this case, which is one of the main highlights of using this one. Take a look at this settings UI first of all. The settings UI is inspired from the latest Android 15 QPR update. In case you don't know, stable update does not have this kind of settings UI, but that also is now themed. Because it's based on Android 15, so unfortunately, we do not have any option to customize the settings UI right now with this rising OS, but that might be added in the upcoming updates for sure. Here we have all the customizations. So far, I made a video on some of the Android 15 based custom rooms, but there are no specific customizations available for that. But yes, this is one of the few custom rooms, which brings you some customizations in lock screen, toolbox, and a lot more extra things here. Let me tell you one more thing here. What this is, it is looking like circle to search and this is Autos launcher. It's not actually a pixel launcher. In case you don't know pixel launcher, if you have installed pixel launcher, then circle to search works. But because this thing was implemented with the previous versions of rising away, so you can hold there and it will launch. It will take that screenshot and ask it in Google lens, similar to the similar to circle to search. And yes, it's present in this case. It is also working with the latest Android 15. Quite impressive because this is the first initial version based on Android 15, one of the best ever updates for any custom room. One of the main highlights of using this one is AI Assistant that is already included and that seems quite amazing. Although this AI Assistant is powered by Gemini, so if you want to use this thing, you have to put your Gemini API key to use it properly and that is available for free. That is actually a very good thing. But unfortunately, as I'm using a beta version, open beta version, so it's not working for me yet. I mean, it is giving me some issues. So I will not talk about that in this one, but I will talk about that later on in the upcoming videos. With Android 15, the good thing is game space is not excluded. It's already inbuilt here. So if you are one of the users who use game space on their devices running rising OS, this is actually available for you too. Spoofing, talking about spoofing options. The good thing is all the spoofing options are present already. Options related to Google Apps spoofing, options related to Keybox spoofing, which means play integrity fix. So most likely whenever play integrity or that Keybox got banned, you might get the new one. Play integrity should pass by default without to, without worrying about other than other things could be a great thing for you. Of course, Rising OS is not one of the stable rooms, unfortunately, but I guess it should be for some of the users, not for everyone. Security options are also there. So you can simply bypass some of the things like hiding the screen capture status, hiding the developer status, ignoring the window secure flag so you can take screenshots in some restricted apps and no storage restrict option is also quite amazing. Talking about the theming options here, as expectedly, almost every feature is present in this case too. Like boot animation customizations are there, some font styles, some settings UI styles, 
and take a look at the status bar customizations here status bar which means if you take a look at the status bar option status bar padding options are present in this case you can also enable logo you can also customize the battery styles definitely just so amazing that most of the features which were present with android 14 are also present with android 15 and yes it is one of the most famous custom rooms right now rising os 6.0 based on android 15 open beta version definitely looks so amazing and so impressive so far because this is the initial stage and in case you don't know android 11 style quick settings panel can be enabled very easily in this one too how you can do that you just have to adjust the rows and columns and make the quick setting tiles tiles to circle and as you can see we have the tiles layout option already present because it's based on Android 15 so that uh, adapt that option named as predictive back animation that is already enabled whenever you click on back you will see the new animation because it was not present with Android 14 at all talking about some of the other things here for example icon pack customizations as you can see almost every icon pack option is present here maybe with upcoming future updates you might get some more options more customizations android 15 could be one of the best updates for some of the custom rooms i guess private space is already here and talking about some lock screen definitely lock screen also has the option for lock screen clock customizations we have some fonts already available but if you take a look at take a look at these clocks unfortunately the number of clocks are less as compared to android 14 for now but with every update we might see some new clock faces will be added and quite exciting update for sure by the way this is based with the october security patch and as far as i know with the november security patch we might get some more changes and that is also coming very very soon as you can see there are many fonts option present for you so definitely you have to check this out for sure as you can see looking quite amazing definitely it's up to you if you want to use this thing on a device or not and as i just mentioned this is the unofficial version which i'm using right now on my device definitely it's a beta version so if it is available unofficially it's good if it is not available unofficially yet you might get the official update not so sure but let's see also if you take a look at some of the other things in this one because it's autos launcher so you have some of the customizations too we have better smooth better scrolling better smoothness as compared to some of the other options right now even the more settings ui customizations are present here i mean that's just so good these were the things i just wanted to let you know if you want to try it out on a device you can and yes in case if you are looking forward to the app cloning feature is also present in this case and i guess it's not present in some of the android 15 based custom rooms looking forward to uh, looking forward to lineages for now so quite excited for that thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one until then take care